So now what we're going to do is address some fundamental hand positioning for the jab, and we're going to talk about a drill to help establish that hand positioning. When we throw a jab, we need the hand here, the right hand here as my left extends. Here, my right hand needs to be checking my mouth guard predominantly. A common mistake is what I call the archer, where I feed the jab here, and then my right hand here draws back. You'll see many people doing this, even professionals, as they launch their jab, they'll pull this hand back here. You'll actually have more power, but of course you open up the front of your face for a counterattack. To help me illustrate this, Steph is going to feed me a jab. You see how his right hand is up against his mouth guard. To help him maintain that hand position, you see how I'm going to feed a jab at the exact same time. It should look like we're just jabbing at the exact same moment. Now, I'm going to feed Steph in a jab. He's going to counter me at the exact same time. Does that make sense? If I draw my hand back, you see how he would be able to pop me right in the face. So for all of you who are fighting against a guy who's popping out a jab and drawing their hand back, you should absolutely do that counter. Now, Stefan is going to keep me here, right there. You see how I keep my right hand checking my mouth guard, all right? Now, a common flaw when you're doing this drill is for us to do, start doing this. Here, so I'm so scared of Stefan's counter that I'm extending my right hand as well. This is a flaw. In order to counteract that flaw, as Stefan feeds me the jab, intermittently will I feed the counter jab. So let's do it this way. People will be able to see your right hand a little bit better. When the jab comes, you see how I don't always feed it, but when I do, he's ready for it. Right there, and he sees it. Right there, exactly. So this really is important to be able to go and recognize hand positioning from when you throw the leaf jab.